Uh, I know both my uh, both my coaches with the Sea Bears and the Bisons the last two years have been uh, just really uh, really good at letting me be myself and uh, encouraging me to make mistakes. Like I think a lot of a lot of young players have in the back of their mind like if they make a mistake they'll get subbed out or and it kind of like puts you in it puts you in a shell and doesn't let you uh, grow. But I've been super fortunate to have two coaches that have like pushed me to make mistakes uh, and grow that way. And I can tell you that as I reflect back on my career, these are the most important people. From the coaches that share their joy and their passion, their volunteer hours to come out and really show you the sport they love and to teach you how to love it right along with them and all the, the small things that they did for me to make me better and to make me love the game, to show me how to win and be successful, but also to appreciate every single moment and second that I was out on the ice, I will never forget them. I'm eternally grateful. It's just kind of, you gotta pay it forward. Like, when I was younger, uh, there's always so many people who would volunteer and give up their time and their hours to allow me to kind of get where I am today. Like, all my coaches through high school, through club basketball, we're all volunteers. You know, if any young athlete gets the chance to give back and help the next generation and pay it forward. I owe a debt of gra gratitude for my entire career to the volunteers that have loved the sport that I love and who've been willing to sacrifice their time so that we could have a dream exponentially bigger than I could have ever imagined.